Well, good afternoon, everybody. It is uh, terrific to have you along for our live coverage of this uh, eagerly awaited contest. It should provide some terrific entertainment on uh, what is turning into a rather imperfect afternoon. The weathermen really get it wrong, and uh, they have warned us that there is rain on its way. Shouldn't be bad enough in any sense meaningfully to impact on the game of football, but it is a factor to be taken into consideration. Plenty of other factors, of course, principally each side's concern for the strengths of the other. This one of the great amphitheatres of the game. You are welcome to it and indeed to one of the grandest fixtures. Well, there are plenty looking forward to seeing this, a capacity crowd here. Well, under normal circumstances, this is a massive matchup, and I'm not totally in agreement with the view that friendlies tend to take the edge away. In my experience, if the opposition go at it full tilt, then you have to reciprocate. We'd like to see excitement and be entertained, but if it does go down the serious route, there'll still be lots to enjoy. And if you did just miss it, we are up and running already. So, Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? Yeah, Immobile! He's pulled off a fine save! Immobile really must have felt he had the measure of the keeper then, but how wrong he was. Stitch defending, but that'll do. Marco Verratti. Griezmann with good energy in defence as well. Well, they say that your front lads should be that first line of, um, of stopping the opposition, and I think he's taken it to another level with his desire to get back and, and help everyone out. Mbappe! And it's in Mobile. Marco Verratti, chip through, Chiesa, Chiesa, and a header! Goal, Italy! Oh, an absolute gem of a cross, it made the header simple. Well, look, it's, it's often the timing of the jump that dictates what you can do with any header, and if you get it slightly wrong, then you'll struggle, but that was beautifully made, it really was. Italy get themselves into the lead. Yeah, and they know there's plenty of work left in this one, Peter, before they can actually say that the job is over. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more. It's Giroud! And he's there to make a great save. The keeper really dug out his defence then. A magnificent effort. Bellucci. Chiesa. Italy are leading with half time drawing close. Florenti goes long. He wasn't very far from making something happen by himself. Lovely to see. He's got through. Well played. He saw that coming. Marco Verratti. And the first 45 minutes are up. So there you have it, a close sport half of football, but one that still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. Well, they showed glimpses of some wonderful football to groom with the lead at half time, and that's definitely pleased the fans. I think they'll be looking to keep this intensity up now in the second half.
Italy head for the dressing room in possession of a 1-0 lead. And we're already back on the way here. Italy really need to go and, and grab another goal now, Peter, if they're going to go on and secure this. And out to safety. And that's been one straight back. Jorginho with a good steal, well played. A Serbi. Jorginho. Bonucci. Florenzi. Florenzi goes looking. Italy just about have their noses in front. It is the slenderest of leads. What are you thinking? Well, Peter, if they're attempting to see out the game with such a, a narrow advantage, there's room for trouble. Uh, I just think they're sending out the wrong message. This could backfire. Uh, that's not going to make it. Chiesa. Now it's Immobile. And helps available out wide. Chiesa. has got good distance on that. Gets wrestled off the ball. Chiesa. It's on a... Immobile! Oh, that's a terrific save from the keeper. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. Pavar with the crossfield ball. For a moment, you felt that was going somewhere, but they'll have to go again. Jorginho. Chiesa. Florenzi tries to locate someone up front. Immobile plays a clever pass. Has a hit! Oh, and that should have been two. Oh, and a real chance to pile on the pressure, and he'll be desperate to get another. France have turned to their bench and we're going to have a substitution. It's going to be a double change then. Pogba. Varane tries to switch the play. Cuts it out. Just five minutes remaining now. Just a few more moments for them to hang on. And it's Insigne. Pogba. Immobile plays it out to the flank. Chiesa. Who's loose? Who's getting there? So that's it. It is all over. Italy hit it by the only goal. Result, no question, the most important thing, however it came.